Biblical metaphor for the four cardinal direction. Kingdom pattern. The proper knowledge and understanding of the four cardinal points can help you interpret some applicable Bible passages. The directional alignment in the ancient world is that they orient themselves facing the east. Their cognition is that the east is always before them, behind them is the west, at the right is the south, and the north is to the left. Their interpretation based on this belief is that the future is definitely not in the front, but it is behind, meaning it is invisible. The interpretation of each cardinal direction. 1. The East. The East is the central point of orientation, and this significance may be associated to the fact that the sun rises from the East. The East is a very important cardinal direction in the religions of the ancient world. The Bible reference for this symbolism. The Garden of Eden was situated in the East, and the entrance of the garden faces the East. Read Genesis 2 verse 8, and Genesis 3 verse 24. Adam and Eve went towards the East after they sinned and driven out of the garden. Read Genesis 3 verse 24. Cain and the human race after him continued this eastward movement. Read Genesis 4 verse 16, and Genesis 11 verse 1 to 4. The garden situated in the east symbolized safety and security. After the fall of man, the east was the direction of the exile, and thus represented a condition of separation from God. The east was the place of the wilderness, from which catastrophic winds endangering life came. Read Psalm 48 verse 7, and Ezekiel 27 verse 26. The East was also a symbol of Babylonian exile and the saving presence of God. Read Ezekiel 10 verse 18 to 19, Ezekiel 11 verse 22 to 23, and Revelation 16 verse 12. 2. The West. The West has dual symbolism, it represents both negative and positive elements. The sea was to the west of the land of Israel, and was representing evil and death. The West also represented darkness because the sun sets in the West. Read Psalm 104 verse 19 to 20. The positive symbolism of the West is that, it is connected with the Israelite tabernacle and the temple of the Israelites. Although the temple faced the East, the entrance required movement toward the West. Read Ezekiel 43 verse 1. For that reason, the West pointed toward restored unity with God, in a sense a return to the Garden of Eden. Whenever the Israelites go to worship in the temple, they face the west and the rising sun in the east is behind them. This movement to the west could be clearly seen in the call of Abram, he left Ur of the Chaldees in the east and went to Canaan in the west in obedience to God. Read Genesis 11 verse 31. The west is also a symbol of divine blessing. Once the exiles of Israel were liberated by God from their enemies in the east, they all traveled west, to their homeland of Israel. Read Ezekiel 43 verse 2 to 5. 3. The North. The North is associated with the place of God's celestial dwelling, and from there God's glory descend along with blessings and judgments. Read Isaiah 14 verse 13, Job 37 verse 22, and Ezekiel 1 verse 4. The North is also a symbol of disaster, from there the enemy of God's people came. This enemy was the false king of the north who attempted to arrogate God's role, which lead to his final destruction by the Lord. Read Jeremiah 1 verse 14 to 15, Ezekiel 38 verse 6, and Daniel 11 verse 21 to 45. 4. The South. The South also has both negative and positive symbolism. The wilderness was in the south of Israel, a region where life does not prosper, hence the south has a negative connotation. Read Isaiah 30 verse 6. Egypt, which opposed God's purpose and oppressed the children of Israel, was situated to the south of the land of Israel. It was in the south that the Lord appeared to Moses, and went with him to Egypt to liberate his people. It was on Mount Sinai in the south that the Lord appeared to the Israelite congregation. Read Deuteronomy 33 verse 2. The mixed symbols of the four cardinal directions appears to be based on the fact that, 
evil was recognized to be present in all places, and likewise God's saving presence was always within reach to his people worldwide. Psalm 139 verse 7 to 12 Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there, if I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me, indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the night shines as the day, the darkness and the light are both alike to you. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve, and the punishment for sin is death, which means separation from God, the source of life, Romans 3.23, we cannot earn our salvation, for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man. He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will. He died in our place and as our substitute, paying for our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven. He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom. If you truly repent from sinful ways, believe and accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and Savior. You will be saved from judgment and spend eternity with God. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, are you ready? Be the first to know when new videos are published. Please like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern at www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.